Hey guys, Wrestling Rambles 89 returning again here with another reaction video. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold talking about a theater accidentally kicked someone in the balls when he was going for the Stone Cold stunner. I know for sure in recent times he has, but I'm curious if you talk about doing it in the past when you his big name opponents, especially The Rock, which would explain those crazy cells. But all joking aside, let's get started. Here we go. Hey, Steve, great show. I was just wondering if you ever accidentally or purposely kicked someone in the balls during a stunner kick from Kane over in Aspatria, Kane. England. I don't know where in the hell Aspatria, England is, but I'll answer your question right now. There's many times that I couldn't get that kick up high enough uh, to the waistline, Ouch. especially depending on how heavy I was in the ring and if I was wearing jeans or shorts or not, yes, okay, which decreased my range of motion. Yeah. But I kicked Vince in the balls on a damn nightly occasion, <laughs> and I got to give that guy credit. He's got to be one of the toughest human beings in the world. Because right I kicked roots. him so many times, and he never, ever once complained. And I know I rang his ass up plenty of times. So, beat, yeah, it Hammond. frequently happened, and that's the way it was. And <laughs> if anybody ever said something, I always apologize. Because, <laughs> but it was never, ever done intensely. Sometimes I wasn't the most uh, – graceful cat in the ring to work with yeah shit happens for sure as you brought up wearing jeans and trying to have any kind of real range of motion i know from experience is just asking for trouble but i was expecting him to say it would happen now and again and never deliberately but he said it's a normalist nightly basis he would kick vince in the grapefruits and not only does that sound really funny especially considering it's his big rival vince but also who the fact that Vince apparently never even sold it. He never complained once. <laughs> and Vince McMahon, you can tell on the inside he is probably pissed, but he wasn't going to say anything to his biggest star. So that was pretty amusing. That was a pretty funny anecdote, I'm not going to lie. I hope you enjoyed it and had as much fun with this as I had reacting to it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell if you haven't already. This is Wrestling Rambles 89, signing off.